Okay, I think we have our problem solved. We'll see in the next few presentations if it's uh, indeed solved or not. Okay, we're, this is section 14.9, force, vibrations, and resonance. It's a single slide, uh, uh, single, single slide video. Uh, let's get through it. You remember that the energy of a damped oscillator decreases over time because of friction. It's possible to compensate for this energy loss by applying an external force that does positive work on the system. For example, suppose an object spring system have, having some natural frequency of vibration F sub zero is pushed back and forth by a peri periodic force with frequency F. The system vibrates at the frequency F of the driving force. This type of, vib this type of motion is referred to as a forced vibration. Its amplitude reaches the maximum when the frequency of the driving force equals the natural frequency of the system F sub zero, called the resonant frequency of the system. And we say the system is in resonance. We just talked about the fact that a stretched string can vibrate in one, of, one or more of its natural modes. In this case, two, if, if a periodic force is applied to the string, the amplitude of the vibration increases as the frequency of the applied force approaches one of the string's natural frequencies of vibration. The figure illustrates one experiment that demonstrates a resonant condition. Several pendulums of different lengths are suspended from a flexible beam. If one of them, such as A, is set in motion, the others begin to oscillate because of vibrations in the flexible, flexible beam. Pendulum C, the same length as A, oscillates with the greatest amplitude because its natural frequency matches that of pendulum A, the driving force. Another simple example of resonance is pushing a child on a swing, which is essentially a pendulum with a natural frequency that depends on its length. If the timing of the pushes is right, the amplitude of the swing is increased. This timing corresponds to a frequency equal to the natural frequency of the swing. If the energy put into the system per cycle of motion equals the energy lost due to friction, the amplitude remains constant. Opera singers can use their voices to make audible vibrations in crystal goblets. The sound waves emitted by the singer can set up large amplitude vibrations in the glass. If a highly amplified sound wave has the right frequency, the amplitude of force vibrations in the glass increases to the point where the glass becomes heavily strained and shatters. Okay, and the next um, section is 1410.